Hey guys, well, I'm just on a little uh, bit of a trip today and um, I'm going to go into Maidenwell and uh, show you around. So I'll just get those um, intro out of the road and then we'll get into it, eh? Cheers. Hey guys, well we're in Maidenwell as I just said before the intro there and um, we just come down here to show you a few things around. We're going down to Cooma Falls which are just back up there. I'll show you the turn off and where you've got to go into and uh, I'm just down here where the sort of showground part is. Now we'll go for a walk up in here but there's actually um, free camps here. You can camp here for 48 hours. They've got COVID restrictions on at the moment so a maximum of 10 people in a group and uh, it's free camping um, I don't think there's showers or anything here but uh, there's toilets and um, you can have fires and there is also a dump point over there so if you've got to empty out any of your um, dump point and there is water and that here available as well so that's a great thing so J.A. Gorton Oval um, you see that little uh, old traction steam engine here on the side of the road, uh, that's what you've got to be looking for and the driveway is just there where my FJ is parked and you can see the sign over there Bunya Gateway Maidenwell welcomes you so and just up on the corner there is the uh, Maidenwell pub which is the hub of the community and there's a little shop over the road there sells coffee, food, fuel um, so you can go over there so great little spot, great little town We'll just go for a bit of a walk in there eh? and I'll just show you down near the um, toilets and that. Okay, so they've got little tables and that here. Uh, looks like there's some uh, solar lights and that here for a night. Um, so that would come in handy. Uh, you've got little tables here you can sit around and there's a little uh, gas barbecue here. I'm assuming it's free. I'll just walk around the other side here and have a look. Yeah, it's a free gas barbecue, so that's great. A few ducks here plenty of birds up here shitting in the little area over here which probably can't stop they put mesh up everywhere to try and stop them nesting um, non-portable water not for drinking use so you can't drink the water a little playground here but as you can see down in the back here there's little um, campgrounds all down in here so if you wanted to come through here and pull up for the night um, there's some beautiful little spots down the back here there's a few little fire pits um, you can use a couple of plovers i'll stay away from them and up there you've got uh, the dump point and a big rubbish bin there's a big telephone a big bloody telstra or optus tower up there so you should get good mobile reception so great little spot um, not too far out of kingaroy so like if you ever go into the bunya mountains and you need somewhere to pull up for the night and you could camp here and uh, the Bunya Mountains is only half an hour up the road there and uh, it's another great spot to visit so like I said I'll tell you all about that in a minute and um, I'll show you where the turn off is eh? Hey guys I thought I'd just quickly come down here while I'm down this way and show you there's Drawn Power Station so hopefully you can see it on the camera there It's um, been here for a lot of years. Used to be able to come down here. There used to be a little um, picnic area in that here. But I've got a feeling it's all closed down now. But uh, you can see the cooling towers there. Coal fire power station. Trying to close them all down. And you can see all the generator units there. This lake here you used to be able to come down here and go swimming and stuff like that. But I think it's all shut down you go down this road down here and that's where the mine is the big open cut mine you're not allowed down there it's all private property but i just thought i'd show you around so huggy doke we'll get on show you some more so we'll just turn in here there's toilets here little electric barbecues just going to head down this road here so you can see there the sign no caravan access so we'll head down this road and we'll show you a little bit more 
Okay guys, we've made it down to um, Coomba watering hole. So you can see the sign there behind me. Um, great little spot, just a day use area. It's a lot of, we'll go down and have a look at the watering hole in a second, but there's little drop toilets here and there's a bit of a car park there. You can go and park in. You can see a few people there that have been going on a few walks. A lot of the old um, grass plants here or known by another name years ago but you can't call them that anymore politically incorrect so I better call them grass plants but uh, I might just go for a quick walk down this road here and just see where it goes I don't know whether you can see the creek down here Have a bit of a look at it but we'll head down to the other part there in a minute but this is uh just down it's only a couple of k's from maidenwell itself and uh looks like a little bush track running up in the back there i'd have to get on the hammer and have a look and see where it goes but there's some fantastic looking rock formations and that out in the in the back there but we'll go back up the top here and we'll start walking down the trail eh? and I'll show you a bit more up there okay we're at the walking trail here and you can see they put in a lovely set of stairs to make the uh, trip down a little bit better I doubt the trip up will be as easy but uh, sort of Great little spot though, isn't it? Like all the little, all the little grass plants, and uh, yes, I can hear the falls down there. So there's actually water going into it, so that'll be good to see. But terrific little spot if you're in the South Burnett and you want somewhere great to sort of come and visit. Like I said, there's um, camping back up in um, Maidenwell itself. So you can sort of head up there and uh, camp up there and uh, just come for a little drive down here. And during summer, this place is always packed because there's always people swimming down here. Now, there has been fatalities down here. Um, you know, people jumping into the water off the rocks down here and coming unstuck but if you just swim where you're meant to and don't do anything stupid you should be all right but you always get people being silly and uh, doing the wrong thing and they're the people that sort of close places like this so that we can't enjoy so when you are in places like this do the right thing pick up your rubbish uh, follow the rules and um, everyone can enjoy it for years to come so have a look down here guys so you, you head onto the old uh, steps but whoops there's the ones we just walked down beautiful little walk down there and uh, you come down to this oasis Imagine the first people that come down here like years ago, like when it was just all bush and they seen this. It's absolutely awesome. Like everywhere, yeah. You get the graffiti artists digging their names and right have to leave their mark on the rocks, but uh, you can't do nothing about that. But have a look at this. We'll just go down here. You wouldn't think a few hundred k's off the, or well, I think it's about 130 k's in a straight line to the Sunshine Coast, and about 100 k's to Brisbane that you would find that. Have a look at that. How good is that? 
bit of a rope swing off the tree out there. Look at the water rushing down over there off those waterfalls. Absolutely beautiful. Now it's a little bit murky at the moment, that's because we've had a little bit of rain here the last few days. So we'll just head over here and see if we can see where it's running off to. So you can see down there where she's all overflowing and making its way to wherever it goes. I'm not quite sure, but uh, there's some beautiful rock formations here and like you come down here and bring your barbecue and a little gas barbecue or something if you wanted to cart it down here. Even one of those little like uh, propane ones and cook yourself up a feed. There's no, there's no barbecues or anything down here. Um, I don't think you can come down here and light a fire, but uh, you could bring one of those little propane ones down here and cook up a couple of snags or something in a fry pan and have yourself a little lunch or bring a lunch with you. But uh, like I said, great little spot um, just near Maidenwell, uh, near Kingaroy. Um, well worth if you're out this way visiting because you can head from here and we'll go back up into Maidenwell and I'll show you the sign to the Bunya Mountains. I have got a video on the Bunya Mountains. You want to check that out. Um, we went up there a few years ago and uh, one, of me, one of my early videos and I think I cooked some scones and showed you all around up there in the Bunya Mountains. I'll put a link in it. Um, on the end of the video so you can check that one out if you want to click on it you can watch that one um but we'll head up in uh, maidenwell now and uh have a look up there eh? i might even see if i can get me drone down here and just do a little bit of a fly around and show you a little bit of footage eh? cheers Okay, 
you can see all these buddy four wheel drives and that coming around the corner so there's a sign there to the Bunya Mountains 28k so you just head up that road there and uh, that'll take you to the Bunya Mountains and over on the corner over here is the hub of the community like I was saying uh, Maidenwell pub it's um, really nice inside I can't take the camera in there but uh, great little country pub and uh, that was the road we took earlier and went down you can see those people going down to the falls down there so great little spot Maidenwell um, thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed if you got like anything if you got any uh, questions or queries just leave a comment and I'll get back to you um, and I'll see you on the next one cheers Okay, it was right here when I realized there was something wrong with my drone. I was trying to land it, but it was fighting me. Every time I tried to come down through the trees, it would go in a different direction and fly towards the trees. I don't know what was going on with it. I think it lost signal with the controller. It was flying all over the place. I just missed that rock, went over the top of it, come around to ditch it in the grass. And just as I thought it was gonna land, it just went sideways. I had no control over it and it hit the ground. Luckily there was no damage. First time I've ever crashed it. Um, come off all right. I'll have to fly it again and see how it is. Count myself lucky.